a park which hasn't changed much in decades is getting some big upgrades. The city hopes this will help cut down on crime and bring more people back to the park. NBC4's Eric Halperin is in Hans Park in the hilltop with those changes on the way here. Jared and Jen, the plan is for the work to start this fall. Two and a half million dollars for the project was just approved by city council last night. Some of what's here, like this shelter house, which is not in very good shape, will be demolished to make way for the upgrades. Can you scoot back in your seat a little? Joe Jones and his family are regulars at Haunts Park. It's right across the street from their house. I have seen maybe a little bit of a decline even when we've been living here as far as usage of the park. Uh, but I mean, I think the potential over here is really good. According to city documents, the 5.6 acre park in the hilltop has seen little change since the 1990s. Crumbling concrete, peeling paint and rusted doors at the shelter house are just a few signs, but improvements are on the way. It's absolutely amazing. Um, I was actually really shocked at the scale of it. After hearing from residents, the city council approved about two and a half million dollars for upgrades. Plans include a new shelter, playground and courts, plus the addition of several features, including a skate park, picnic areas, wetland, pollinator meadow and boardwalk. Just making this more, you know, of a neighborhood kind of feel would be huge. Jones says it's been nice having the park so close to home and will be even nicer when the work is done. It would be great if there were more kids here playing, you know what I mean? It's yeah, remind me of when I was a kid and we would, you know, go down to the neighborhood park. And the city first started getting feedback from residents on this back in 2021. The plan is to finish the work next fall. Local for you, I'm Eric Halperin, NBC4.